Guys, oh shit! Good morning gamers. War is bad. Guns are dangerous. And violence is generally a bad thing. Wait spicy, I am ascension ied. I want to live to experience However, you put a toaster on my head and a clacker in my hands, in my opinions? Well, they start changing a bit. Okay, hand me the clacker. Hand me the clacker. Alright, go smack his ass. Not long ago, I was gifted a copy of the VR tactical shooter Onward by local Swedish man Nubis and was given the instructions to stay strapped or get clapped. Now, there are a number of multiplayer VR shooters on the market. Nani? You can play Pavlov if you enjoy both getting called racial slurs after failing to disarm a bomb and CSGO. Rec Room lets you recreate American Sniper if American Sniper was a movie about Bradley Cooper dunking on 10-year-olds in paintball. Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades is not a multiplayer shooter, but features weapon handling so realistic that the Department of Homeland Security had to launch a formal investigation into how so many of today's youth are tactically proficient with an RPG-7. You couldn't get a more perfect RPG shot. And then, there's Onward. <laughs> Oh my God. Onward has me convinced that when you're holding a hammer, everything is a nail. I don't consider myself a violent person. Oh, he didn't get the bolt racked. He didn't get the bolt racked. Kill him. Kill him. Drop yeah. Back. yeah. Let's go. My standard day consists of drinking some coffee, going to work, making PG-13 jokes to my middle-aged co-workers, then going home, power washing some strong black tea down my throat, and flying Mach 1 into the ground while my Twitch chat collectively devolves into a troop of howling baboons. That is to say, I'm a simple man, and I take no pleasure in hurting my fellow man. Before I put another thought into your Gordian knot of a prefrontal cortex, let me state this disclaimer. Video games do not cause violence. If you think that video games causally impact violent tendencies, that's a bad opinion. You're wrong. You are lesser for having stated that opinion. Now here's 6.5 minutes of me giving you anecdotal content that makes a strong counter-argument to the exact point that I just stated. The guy peeking behind it. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> well, that could have been bad. I've played many, many shooters. Onward is the only one that makes me feel like I'm getting shot at. Got one far, 180 behind the far building. Oh my god! Christ! <laughs> Jesus, man! <laughs> scared the hell out of me! I am reminded of a quote by Winston Churchill, in which he stated, Nothing in life is so exhilarating as to be shot at without result. Unfortunately, in finding this quote, I was confronted with Winston Churchill's many other, shall we say, old-fashioned opinions. <laughs> So don't take Winston Churchill's advice on what's exhilarating in life, but do take mine. Believe me when I tell you that the first time you lead a Roman Testudo formation of ballistic shielded gamers to their certain demise, the sheer force of the dopamine being jetpacked across your neurons will be enough to freeze your webcam. Right, let's move. Lead, lead me. Lead me to victory. Hey, Watch hey, out, hey, frag. Hey, frag. Hey, Don't break formation, don't break formation, stick together. Here they come. Watch out to you. Oh, oh they're flanking right, they're flanking. Oh. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Admittedly, when other gamers take note of the fact that every time you issue a command, they end up dead. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god. Holy lord, he's down. Oh my god, oh, they're all dead. They begin to consider this a problem. Alright, get ready for flankers. Oh, oh. oh my god. And in an environment in which people are given both a problem and a gun, their solution to their problem is usually to use the gun. Cover me. Let go. Cover me, heroes. I gotta sip. Oh, somebody get on my other- Oh, Jesus Christ, no. careful with that, man. <laughs> Fellas, take it easy. So you'll try to play the game normally, and do your best to not let VR turn you into a psychopath. Yep, give me that too. Give me that too. Your Twitch chat may take note of this and steer you into more violent waters. You're the last one. Complete the mission. There's some up here to the right. You're gonna make me act up. <laughs> you don't make me do something, I'm gonna regret. I'm so sorry. I'm 
on you gamers. You're the last one. Complete the mission. Uh, Kerbal, can you come here? Kerbal, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, uh, can you check my... Uh, I reached out to Adam Newman, CEO of extremely successful and certainly not defunct cooperation-focused company WeWork, and asked if blasting your teammates in the noggin is optimal for unit cohesion, only to be told that this strategy won't work. His opinion on this matter will cost me $432 million. So please, like and subscribe. Complete the mission! Oh no. They got one. He's down. Can you get him back up? Looks like he got hit in the head there. Oh, he's dead dead? Oh man, they're, they're pretty good at shooting. I know what you're thinking. Why would you listen to your Twitch chat? Why would you shoot them? Don't you have any common decency? Why does my friend's southern grandpa start sweating when I talk about my Sherman mattress? I can't answer these questions for you, but I can tell you that virtual reality leads you to do things you wouldn't expect. Case in point, recently I decided to present a challenge to my Discord. Send out five of your bravest champions to face me in combat. What I didn't tell them was that they would all be armed with knives and I would have a sniper rifle. I thought this would be a fun little Wednesday evening. Instead, it was one of the scariest experiences of my life. Ready or not, here you guys come. No, 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 it's out, it's out, it's out, it's out, run. If I just kind of hide down here, am I still on camera? No, no. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, they've got a turtle maneuver. Oh, <laughs> they're gonna kill me. I consider myself something of an empath, and I was beginning to feel like there's something making these gamers feel a little <clears throat> not bussin'. Don't fucking cheat, you're boring. So I decided to change teams, and contrary to what you may expect, it did not make me feel like I was causing less violence. I think he's gonna just look through the door I'm and wait. I'm trying to keep my knives away from people. Oh that shit! Course. Oh <laughs> no! I, yeah, I for sure <laughs> stabbed him. Yeah, that was on me. Oh, oh, my Oh shit! Uh, that didn't go where I wanted it to. So this is your reminder. Virtual reality is a violent, bizarre hellscape populated with some of the funniest gamers I've ever met. It certainly won't make you a violent person, but have a laugh and compliment someone this week just in case I'm wrong about that. Thank you to the certified spice merchants listed on screen, the coriander connoisseurs, and the pepper peddlers of the spice market. And thank you to the 5,000 people who came screaming out of the woodwork to subscribe since the last video. I appreciate your kindness, I, I truly do. Life is really hectic right now, more on that in the Discord, but there will soon come a day when I can stream and edit videos on a regular basis. And until that day comes, you guys can uh, catch me doing squats on Twitch.